the top news headlines EVM is very secure system manipulations is not possible says joint chief electoral official MDS Dolat Khan Women have same right as death of men, asserts Vice Chancellor of Manipur University, Professor Ann Lokendra. BJP continues to seek suggestions from people for inclusion in parties' elections manifesto. A very good evening. You're watching the Mummy TV English News. In focus with me, Cheng Leng and Bikhaidem, I'll present to you about the hot news for today. Chief Electoral Officer Manipur organized EVM and VVPAT familiarizations and awareness program for journalists in connections with the upcoming State General Assembly elections at the conference hall of Chief Electoral Office at Lamphel Pad today. Speaking on the occasion, Joint Electoral Officer to Mohammed S. Dolat Khan said, Electoral voting machines EVM is a very secured system which has three units, namely control unit, ballot unit, and voter verifiable paper or the trial VVPAT. The control unit will be placed near the presiding officer of the polling stations while ballot unit and VVPAT will be placed inside the voting compartment. The ballot unit also has braille future to cater to the needs of visually impaired voters. Besides VVPAT, which is an independent system attached with the electronic voting machines, will allow the voters to verify that their votes are cast as intended. The votes will be displayed on VVPAT for 7 seconds. Voters can raise complaint to the election presiding officer if the vote displayed on VVPAT does not match with the intended vote. The joint electoral officer also stated that there is no questions of the EVM being hacked or manipulated and appealed to the voters not to believe in any such rumors. The EVM will be guarded by three layers, security with CCTV surveillance for 24 hours, he added. Mohammed S. Dolat Khan further informed that first-level checking of EBMs are being conducted and will be completed within this month. Currently, there are 2,959 polling stations in Manipur, which may also increase in future, he said. ว่าสิทธิ์ท่านจะว่าเขาเลยว่าท่านจะว่าเขาเลยก็ไลน์แคนดิเดตสิ่งนั้นก็ยังเรื่องนึงเบอร์สิครั้งก็กระมือสิเ
MU Robita Sorokhaibam and Head of Department of Law MU Dr. Y. Prem Chand attended the awareness program. Speaking on the occasion, Professor Lokendra said, in some society, women do not face harassment at workplace. However, in other society, women have to remain home due to so so social norms. Discriminations at workplace arises when women start working outside their homes. He asserted that women must also enjoy freedom at workplace like men without any restrictions. Student Union, Non-Teaching and Teaching Association must handle the cases of harassment at workplace as a delicate matter, Professor Lokendra said. New information from different parts of the world reaches this, you know, border state, small state, and then you notice a different kind of social norms and a social more coming up in this state. It is in this context that this particular act, the sexual harassment of women at workplace prevention, prohibition and the Redressal Act 2013 has become <coughs> very relevant. I would also like to request the chairman and the presiding officer of the Internal Complaints Committee Manipur University to see to it that in our university no such untoward incidents of harassment of our daughters and of our employees takes place before our eyes. Bharatiya Janata Party BJP continues to seek suggestions from people for inclusion in framing the party's election manifesto. BJP Manifesto Committee for 12 Assembly Elections Manipur under the supervision of MLA of Kakching Assembly Constituency, Mayang Lambam Rameshwar organized a program seeking people's suggestions to include in BJP's election manifesto. The program was held at JNNURM Hall at Kakching Sumak Laikai. Speaking on the occasion, convener of the committee, retired Lieutenant General L.N. said, the BJP-led government conducted a program to seek suggestions from the people, which has never been done before. He lauded the developmental programs undertaken by the BJP government, both at the centre and the state, as well as the positive changes witnessed by the people of Manipur under BJP's rule. <laughs> Masigi Asian Highway se aji complete hoye gaya thora. Chahi ani ki manunga railway line lagi. Me karana hai railway line laga adu ada thabo khani mukhi afawa phatta ba loin lay adu ko afawa na diya mera kani. Infrastructure hai badi lambi railway line masigi out rabadi leba kama jati ma chaukat pe yate adu na. Hujit, a koi sarkar chahi manga sitte khane mein yoh ban lay hibra lay kite, an macha macha khara kataogi blockade lay kitera. Thay na blockade ke kam koi rent lay dena koi kam vara mein, ban lay dena koi kam vara mein. Nungan sumi matam dalo ni yumda, icha isu, ichni na ulo hanjil lavra ina pakat na ramya. Hujit madhu ki dolay kitera. Manipur State Power Distribution Company Limited MSPDCL, the state designated agency under Bureau of Energy Efficiency, Government of India, organized a seminar on the theme Con Conserve Energy, Save the Future at Classic Grandi today. Speaking on the occasion, Executive Director of MSPDCL, H. Santi Kumar, said, Utilizing any form of energy jud judiciously will help in conserving the natural resources, thereby making the planet more sustainable. He said that the seminar was organized to raise awareness about the same among the people. Many experts spoke on various issues of sustainability on the occasion. They also opined that the seminar will help in raising awareness about the same among engineers of different government departments to conserve energy more effectively. High River Seminar come workshop si hari kita mungkin terpangkut ilmu hari berdi. Apa ina energy season apa electric season apa topu makal gigi energy season apa masih judiciously season apa shape tu hoba energy si hantena season ragdi energy produce tu buda apa ina perthibi gigi masah gigi lebi natural resources masih si hantena season ni masih konsep tu orang thamma gigi perthibi si perthibi si apa ina sangatna sustain tu orang bagi adu gigi idea ada satu bani. BJP aspiring candidate of Moirang Assembly constituency and former MLA MP Tribiras has slammed NPP as an ungrateful political party which does not understand the law of a coalition government. 
He said this during a boot level committee held yesterday at Thamnapokbi Community Hall in Morang Assembly Constituency. The meeting was organized by Election Campaign Committee for MP Tribiras, which was attended by former councillors of Morang Municipal Council M. Bina, K. Memthoi, and voters of polling board 27 by 7 and 27 by 8. Speaking on the occasion, P. Tribira said, Moirang will emerge as a renewed constituency if the efforts of the people of the constituency is in making a corruption-free election pay off. Rather than looking at family ties while choosing representatives, he appealed to the people to thoroughly deliberate the abilities of the candidates. Failing to do so may lead to downfall of society, he said. Pitriviras added that the BJP-led government under the leadership of Chief Minister Anne Brent has taken up many developmental programs with strengthening the core of the party in the state. He also expressed confidence that BJP will retain power by getting absolute majority in the upcoming general elections. <laughs> Yam <laughs> Forest Department was not able to save a rare migratory bird golden eagle, Aquila Chrysetos, which was rescued by Sagol Sam Gigin from Wangu. He had handed over the fully matured bird to the department. Talking about the incident, Assistant Conservator of Forest and Munal Meite said the migratory bird was found by some children at Wangu, unable to fly apparently after consuming insecticide. Despite the best efforts to save the bird by the department, it vomited blood and died soon after. Raising fear for presence of insecticides at Wangu, he appealed to the people to refrain from using insecticides and bird traps to save rare migratory birds. <coughs> BJP aspiring candidate of Wangkem Assembly constituency Yumnam Nabachandra distributed cooking gas cylinders to 69 household of the constituency under Pradhan Mantri Uzuala Yozna. Speaking on the occasion held at Nabachandra's residence at Thobal Kiamsi Fai Kong Ahanbi, he said, People of the constituency are not able to avail the benefits of various developmental schemes provided by more delayed government. Adding that many people have been deprived of the benefits of the welfare schemes like PMUI, he blamed the same on the negligence of people's representative. <laughs> As part of Sana Khotnabada Mai Onsilasi Mission, General Secretary Organizations of National People's Party NPP and intending candidates in the upcoming elections, Sheikh Norul Hassan, felicitated Mohammed Fazirul He of Khetrigao constituency who beige second place, men sport physique in 59 Mr. Manipur 2021 contest and Sakibur Yung Khaibam who beige second place in 65, 65 kg category bodybuilder Mr. Manipur. Cash incentives were also presented to the athletes. Speaking on the occasion held at his residence, Sheikh Nurul Hassan stressed the role of every individual in bringing a healthy society by focusing on one's physical well-being. Nurul Hassan also announced that he will sponsor the fear of Fazirul Haq and Sakibur Yung Khaibam for flight tickets to participate in Mr. India Contest and will also provide possible help to the, to the duo.
Association of Manipuri Diaspora Amand Pune observed the 82nd Nupilan Memorial Function at the residence of President of Amand and Giridhar in Pune yesterday. The members of the association virtually attended the observance. Attendees of the observance offered floral tribute to the Nupilan Memorial Statue at the venue. President of Amand and Giridhar, Vice President Sobham Subachandra and Treasurer Iram Sarat attended the observance program. Here we have a short commercial break. Please stay tuned for more update. Kuthi yeng thok piyu. Yum palana ita yaug daba migi paisa ton ba paisa yam na mang ba. Itil inau nu sina daba yum pan bada ayer papi ba. Haksang fat daba lairik lai suda ayer papi ba. Yek na ba yam na lai ba amadi lai bak yam na thi ba asik kok na ba isa ge kuthi yeng thok piyu. Kuthi yeng ba numit singdi irai thangza nu mai zing. El thoi ba astrologer ma fam pasoi patri menrot. Lengshin Biru, Lengshin Biru, MSMY Enterprises, Aluminum Iron and Steel Engineering Glass House Ta, Aluminum Window, Door Partition, SCP Seat, Structure Glazing, Fall Ceiling, Steel Railing, Staircase, Asina Chingba, Makal Kudimaki, Design Sing Pangbigani, Mafam, New Chakon, Near, Oren Hotel, Infal East 795005, Manipur. Contact number 7005541399. WhatsApp number 7085157009. Success for your children. Get enrolled to one of the finest schools in Northeast India, Unico School. Excellence in education. Welcome back again after the break. India recorded 7,350 COVID-19 cases and 202 fatalities in the last 24 hours, according to Health Ministry data. The new cases and fatalities have pushed India's COVID-19 daily to 3.46 crore and dead toll to 4.75 lakh. On the other hand, India's active COVID-19 case count has declined to 91,456. Meanwhile, India has recorded 38 cases of the Omicron variant. Kerala, Andhra Pradesh and Chandigarh reported their first Omicron case on Sunday, while Maharashtra and Karnataka each recorded one more case of the COVID-19 variant, taking the tally in the country to 38. Meanwhile, India's top technical advisory body on COVID-19 vaccination has suggested that the third or the booster dose when administered should be of a vaccine based on a platform different from that of the first two doses. India is planning to invite the presidents of five Central Asian countries, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan as chief guests to the Republic Day celebrations in 2022. Sources said that the government has begun reaching out to these countries to discuss the invitations through diplomatic channels. On December 18 to 19, External Affairs Minister S. Jay Sankar will host a virtual meeting with the Foreign Minister of Central Asian Nations over officials' invitations to the presidents of this country. This will be the third such meetings of the foreign ministers since 2019. The second meeting was held virtually amid COVID-19 restrictions. Congress interim president slammed the shockingly regressive passes regarding women in the CBSE English exam question paper during the zero hour in Lok Sabha. She also shouted an ap apology from CBSE. The class 10 CBSC English Questions paper triggered a controversy on Saturday for allegedly promoting gender stereotyping and supporting regressive notions. The passage contains atrocious statements such as women gaining independence is the main reason for a wide variety of social and family problems. The entire passage is riddled with such condemnable ideas and equations that follow are equally nonsensical. 
Sonia Gandhi said she sought an apology from the board and urged the Ministry of Education and CBAC to immediately withdraw this. Questions issued an apology and conduct a fair review into these labs and ensure this to never repeat it. Meanwhile, the CBSC has withdrawn a controversial passage in the English language and literature paper of the class 10 exam held on December 11th. The passage which said that emancipation of the wife destroyed the parents' authority over the children was criticized by many and labeled as misogynist. In a statement, CBSC said that the passage was not in accordance to the board's guidelines for setting up question papers. It said that full marks will be given to the students who got the questions as well as others who received different set of questions in order to ensure uniformity and parity. Nagaland Minister V. Kasiho Sangtam has alleged that the army has taken undue advantage of the armed forces' special powers aid to kill and terrorize people since 1958. He was speaking on behalf of the Eastern Nagaland Legislature's Union ENLU, which represents 20 of the 60 MLAs in the state, during a candlelight vigil organized by Konyak Union in Kohima on Sunday. Sangtam said that repeal of the egg has been a long-standing demand of the people of the Northeast. He said that thousands of lives have been lost and homes left shattered and broken due to upspa. But the protests against the egg seem to have fallen on deaf ears. Indian model Harna Sandhu was named the 17th Miss Universe at a peasant hall at Eilat, a resort city in Israel. The 21-year-old was crowned by Andre Meza from Mexico, the previous Miss Universe title holder. Before Sandhu, only two Indians have won the title, actors Lara Dutta in 2000 and Susmita Sen in 1994. Peruguese Nadia Ferri Ferreira finished in second in 2021 Miss Universe Peasant, while South Africa's Lalela Maswani was third. Sandu said at the peasant that young people must believe in themselves. To know that you are unique makes you beautiful, she said. She also urged the youths to stop comparing oneself with others and to talk about more important things that are happening worldwide. Sandhu, who belongs to Chandigarh, has won several beauty titles before her Miss Universe win, including the Miss Diva 2021. She was among the 12 contestants in the Femina Miss India Peasant in 2019. She has also starred in Punjab movies. Now let's recap the headlines once again. Manipulation is not possible, says Joint Chief Electoral Officer MDS Dolat Khan. Women have same rights as that of men, asserts Vice Chancellor of Manipur University, Professor N. Lokendra. And BJP continues to seek suggestions from people for inclusions in party's election manifesto. That's all of the news for today. Keep watching Mami TV News for more updates.